Hi everyone, my name is Nail and welcome to my tiny studio. How are you today? This is a dreadlock love video. Oh, if you are new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and subscribe so that you will be notified of when I pop into the tiny studio to talk about dreads. And if you are returning to the tiny studio, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Today's video is a very important topic. Very important. And we're going to start off with a question. And the question is, why do dreadlocks have an odor? Or why do, what are the causes for of dreads having an odor? That's going to be what we're going to talk about today. Now, first of all, we all have our own particular body smells and scents and usually those scents and odors that are natural to us they come from the things that we ingest they come from the medications that we may take they come from the things that we drink that is where many of our natural body smells since odors come from. Remember, your skin is the largest living, breathing organ on your body. So whatever you put inside of it, that's what's going to come out of it. Now, when dreadlocks or hair has an odor that's not sweet smelling to the nose. It means that something is going wrong or that something has gone seriously wrong. Because your hair should not have an odor. Your dreadlocks should not have a smelly type of odor. And if it does, something is going on. Now, what are the causes of odor? The not so sweet smelling odor. What's the causes of having or acquiring the odor to your locks? Well, it could be something as simple as the different additives and creams and waxes that you may, or gels, that you may be applying to your locks or to the body of your locks or dreads. Perhaps the chemicals that are used in those gels, creams, waxes, or lock products, perhaps those chemicals are sitting on top of your hair and collecting environmental residue. And that residue creates buildup. And after a while, the buildup causes an odor. So to get rid of the buildup, you will have to wash your hair. My suggestion is instead of applying shampoos and conditioners onto your locks, which creates more residue and more buildup, 
use an all natural soap or an all natural shampoo or an all natural liquid soap product that will eliminate all of the buildup and all of the residue and all of the dirt or the environmental pollutions that happen that are locks soak up. And that way you remove the cause of the odor. Another issue where it comes to locks having odors or that not so sweet smelling odor can simply be sweat. If your locks are a year old, then you should feel free to wash them. Wash your locks every six to eight weeks, not often, not all the time. Because when you wash your locks, all the time what you can do is you can begin to strip the moisture and the oils from your hair from your locks which can cause dryness dryness causes um, your locks to become brittle and then soon that will begin the process of thinning and eventually breakage so you don't want that at all however washing your hair with some Dr. Bronner's peppermint oil soap or lavender oil soap or eucalyptus oil soap that's going to eliminate the buildup that you will have in your hair and it's going to bring back that nice natural smelling scent a good scent to your hair to your locks. Another cause of that not so sweet smelling scent or odor coming from your locks could be that when you washed your hair, your hair did not completely dry. So because it didn't dry properly, an odor begins to emit from it. It's true. So what should you do? Well, make sure that your hair is dry. If you have small to medium sized locks, what you may want to do is allow your hair to air dry. For me, air drying is the best possible way that you can ensure that your hair is dry all over. Now some people like to use a hair dryer, a handheld hair dryer. That can work, but you're still going to also have to let your hair air dry on its own. You don't want to continue to use or use a hand uh, a handheld dryer or a salon dryer too much on your locks because what they can do with those prod what those machines can do is they can begin to dry out your hair. And as I said before, dry hair leads to what? A dry scalp, at least a thinness then you have breakage. So heat does damage to your locks. You want to stay away from heat, but if you have to use a little heat here and there now and again, do so, but also know that there will be spots in your dreadlocks that are going to still be damp. So you're going to have to allow your hair, your dreads time to dry. Now for me, when my locks became a medium length, after I washed my hair, I would just plait it. And then in that way, plaiting it ensures that my hair is going to dry. I will be having a shampooing video 
very soon and in that video I will show you my method of plaiting my hair excuse me excuse me I just received a call but I'll call that person back what's another reason or cause of odors emitting from your locks it could be that you are in an environment where there are smells <laughs> you could be a smoker uh, as you see with locks smoke can easily infiltrate or penetrate your locks you could be in a situation where you're at a fish fry or someone's fried chicken the odor can most definitely soak into your locks so you have to be be aware of that if you know that you're going to be in a place that has smoky elements to it where there are strong odors and you know hey frying chicken and frying fish is not a bad odor but that but the odor is strong so if you want to keep the odor out of your hair then or out of your locks then what you're going to have to do is wrap it up keeping your hair wrapped keeping your locks wrapped is what's going to prevent a lot of odors from penetrating your locks and causing them to smell not in a in an unpleasant way what's another thing that can cause odors it could be the sprays that you're using or the spritzes that you're using in your locks. If they're not all natural and they have chemicals in it, alcohol, other things in, in, in the spritzes that you're using, perhaps you're using them because you're experiencing some type of uh, dryness of scalp, you're itching or whatever, what have you. If you're using chemicals from the beauty supply or from your local Walmart or Target that has 5011 chemicals in it and you're using it constantly and then your hair and then you are sweating as well, that can cause odors. That can cause those unpleasant odors. So what should you do if you are experiencing um, an itchy scalp? Or what should you do if you want to add a little sheen or a little um, a little um, oil or moisture to your locks? I say keep it natural. I have a bottle where I have um, rose water purified water, coconut oil, almond oil, a little bit of peppermint oil and I have it in this bottle here and I spritz it on my head it's all it's all natural so if I sweat or if I have a hot flash at night or if my scalp is dry or if I want to add a little sheen to my hair I have something that's all natural that's not going to cause buildup it's not going to cause uh, a lot of residue and it's going to leave my hair soft and mmm smelling good child smelling good and that's what we want we want our locks to be soft to the touch to look beautiful and pleasant on the eyes and we want them to smell to smell wonderful that's what we want right of course we do of course we do that's what you want right I mean so many times you hear people say, you know, that's one of the bad raps that we 
dreadlock divas and gentlemen receive on this journey. People automatically associate dreadlocks with unkemptness, with laziness, with smells and odors and things of that nature. And let me tell you, 99% of the people who wear locks, their hair does not smell. Their hair is not unkempt. It is very much cared for. And smells divine. So, what should you do if you realize that your locks have an odor? An odor. My suggestion is run out to your local health food store or your local Walmart or your local uh, boutique that carries African soaps or that carries African black soap. Grab some Dr. Bronner's peppermint oil soap or Dr. Bronner's lavender soap, liquid oil soap, or the uh, Dr. Bronner's eucalyptus oil soap, or grab you some African, black African soap, and wash your hair. Wash it really well. Allow it to air dry depending on the length of your locks it may take a couple of days do not cover it do not wrap it allow it to dry fully and as it is drying you can use some of the spritz formula that I gave earlier you can use that and then while your hair is drying spritz it a little bit And you will most definitely be rid of those unpleasant odors and smells and scents in your dress. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Dreadlock Love here in the tiny studio. I hope that I was able to answer your question and give you a little advice on how to prevent odors from attaching themselves to your hair, to your locks, and what to do if you find yourself in a situation where your locks are not smelling as pleasant as you would like them to smell. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. My name is Nell, and if you haven't already subscribed to the Tiny Studio, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you next time here in the Tiny Studio on Dreadlock Live. Bye-bye.